These are the rocket glasses, probably my highlight of the show. This might not be the most technologically advanced thing I saw this year at CES 2025, but what I believe in the next step to make our AR glasses go mainstream. Pretty much ribbon glasses on steroids. The Power Smart glasses powered by the Snapdragon AR1 with AI, high resolution cameras, integrated audio for call and music, and most exciting thing, hidden in there two binocular wide gate screens in this incredibly small form factor. Hey there here, so welcome to the VRTech channel. I had the opportunity to check out what's new from Rocket at CES 2025 this year. So well, to discover what smart glasses of the future will be like. Let's get into it. So if you're not familiar with Rocket, we actually covered pretty much all of their products on the channel. In the past, they have been doing this for around 10 years and they're extra dedicated to the AR ecosystem. Of course, they had a big booth at CES 2025 this year. And because I reviewed pretty much every one of their products, well, of course, I had to check them out. One of the highlights for me was for sure an evolution of the AR Joy Pack that we saw last year with the Rocket Max 2, also with the version updated with the camera on front for full 60 of tracking could give you the ability to move in space around our screens, our holograms. If they are not familiar with these glasses, they have two screens that are mirrored directly in front of your eyes with what is called Burbath technology to create a giant screen in front of you that you can use to watch movies, TV shows, play games, work, etc. These were paired with a new version of the Rocket Station 2. And what was particular about it that I was going around in this mini museum with it, and instead of looking at just items with a pass-through, they were projecting holograms with more information about these artifacts, even bringing the old scrolls back to life. I tried the best to record this footage, as you can see, but it was very tricky because I didn't have all my equipment, of course, over there. As a person that is kind of obsessed with history, mostly for Roman Empire or like the classic age, it would be absolutely incredible to see something like this, like uh, when going around Rome or Pompeii and just like see a reproduction of the city as it was before, you know, what happened in the past, bringing cities, buildings, people back to life. I mean, that would be like the future of learning and museums for sure. Imagine having that instead of those little headphones that they give you all the time. I wasn't able to try it this time, but apparently the Rocket Spatial also brings support for the Ultra Screen that is three ultra wide 21 by nine monitors in front of you to actually work in a pretty much almost a 360 environment, I believe, on top of the features that we already saw in our preview video, like the multiple screen mode, the giant screen, the portrait, the sport mode that works like an HOD in following your view around and reading mode to adjust its distance for your eyes for a more comfortable experience. You can, of course, always use your Android apps on it as the system is made directly from Rocket, but it's based on the Android system. So all your Android apps will work there that's pretty cool, with as always the ability to connect it to all your devices. So as I always do, you can use their Steam Deck, Rogue Ally, or any new uh, product that they showed at CES this year, and I use it with these glasses to have a giant OLED monitor in front of you instead of uh, the small screen that comes with it. But let's get to the highlight of the show for me, because Rocky didn't show just the glasses with the Burbath technology, but this time they show something smaller, resembling a regular pair of glasses extra light, just 49 grams, that will go completely unnoticed in the wild. I mean, they do look like a regular pair of glasses. But this time, built in, they have two binocular waveguide displays, monochromes, for text-to-speech, translation, navigation, etc., all powered by the Snapdragon AR1, a chipset made directly from Qualcomm for AR glasses. Of course, all of these in addition to the applications that we used to know for smart glasses, like a camera to take pictures, AI assistant integrated in here, and even live translation. I think I said that already, but yeah, that was absolutely fantastic and very accurate and fast. The two screens, by the way, as we said, are monochrome, so everything is gonna be green. And while improving the battery lives and keeping the weight down, they will also feel like a personal peep boy to use around, if you're familiar with the Fallout series. But hey, instead of telling you, let me show you a demo of the live translation that I had over there between Chinese and English. Again, sorry for the quality of the video, but that's what we got. Let's go. Oh yes, I did have breakfast today. I had some uh, granola bars. Did you have any breakfast? Yeah. 
Hot dogs? Really? <laughs> uh, that's an everything to eat in the morning. <laughs> oh yeah, and not the best combo I think, but <laughs> hopefully it's all fine. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work, I think, right? Uh, you today, uh, Last day. I was the exhibition experience. It's very good. It's very big over here. There's a lot of things happening. Yeah. Live translation wasn't the only thing that you can do, by the way. On the right, you have a touch sensitive area, so you can actually scroll the menu to go to all the different applications. One of those is also taking pictures. And the nice thing, instead of the ribbon glasses there, you actually have a, you know, a frame that appears in front of you. So you know exactly what you're going to take a picture of. Then you have navigation, so you can see the arrows and the direction that you want to take. Read messages that you get from the phone, control your media, the future, the teleprompter, a lot of functionalities. These are expected to to hit the shelves in Q2 2025. So if you're interested in that, please let them know. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. It's no pre-orders or anything like that. It's simply to show that we are interested. Please click because I'm very interested. Because yeah, well, they're not the most advanced thing that we saw this year. And by the way, we're gonna get many more videos about all the stuff at CES, so stay tuned. I think this was a, something that I could actually finally use around without any problem, bringing with me like a powerhouse with the uh, screens and uh, informations to have available for me that really start to feel like uh, the future of what the smart glasses should be, AR glasses. But yeah, here we have it. This was my experience with Rocket at the booth at CES 2025. It's so cool to see that what Rocket created and other companies, of course, in the AR ecosystem now is completely becoming normality. There was a plethora of actually companies showing smart glasses at CES this year. And the crazy thing is like it became finally like a normal thing and nothing that people look at it is like, oh, what am I going to do with those? I feel like the Raymond smart glasses unlocked uh, the market and right now like everything is coming up with an alternative and with things that are even more advanced than what we have right now and that's super cool indeed and for sure for me having a discrete screen in just a pair of glasses that you can wear everywhere really makes a difference next 60 of please hopefully we're gonna have him on the channel to review it soon because yeah i want those things <laughs> I want to take a second to actually thank the scary ghost uh, because of all the help at CES. We actually had uh, you know, the experience of CES together to help each other. And uh, for sure, he's going to make a blog post about it. So I'm going to leave it in the description below in case. So Tony, uh, do your stuff, please. And yeah, what do you think about these smart glasses? Do you like this future that we're going toward to? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, if you like the video, like, if you like this, like, subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. If you really love the channel, join the button on there. Don't further also the Patreon. Thanks to all the patrons who join the channel, of course. I see you guys in the next video. There's so much stuff to show about CES, so stay tuned.